good morning YouTube today is the 26th of March it's a Saturday and I'm so excited on his Fireblade 1000 and Mohan the chief on the Africa twin so we're gonna head off towards Eris Inlet and uh, at, the, at the gate where the Great Ocean is stop there for a couple of photographs and then take it from there Seven so. of us. This is the biggest ride we've had by far, which is excellent. And uh, and we have arrived at Anglesey. I'll probably need to uh, put my. So we're just crossing Aries Inlet now. It's a bit of haze. I'm not sure. Really. And we have got. We have now reached our. Uh, First stop, the Great Ocean Road Arc. Oh, look, lots of lots of tourists. So I think we have now reached Apollo Bay. Starting to get a bit windy. And, uh, so just uh, the boys just uh, refueled, and uh, we are now heading off from Paris Inlet. Sorry, from Apollo Bay. And uh, now I think the next destination will be uh, the 12 Apostles, which is where we'll stop the next. So, uh, looking forward to that. Simran's exhaust, uh, it sounds good at first, but after a little while it just sounds like too much of noise. It's nice to uh, finally get out and about riding. Um, haven't ridden for almost uh, eight weeks now, to be honest. Um, we're busy with uh, a lot of stuff happening at work, and then also uh, moving into my new home. So we moved in uh, on the 20, 20th of February. So. Since then, it's been pretty busy with, uh, you know, doing work around the house and uh, organizing stuff. Um, now things are all sort of, uh, we're all settled in and 
so things are a bit under control so it's good to actually get out and ride especially on this stretch of a road this will definitely uh, remain in our memories for a long long time and I'm trying to capture as much as uh, the detail as I can with the ride starting to feel a bit warm now uh, so probably in our next stop I'll probably get remove the liner from my uh, jacket here they go all the <laughs> fast riders overtaking I'm just going to ride at my pace and enjoy the view while I'm doing it. It's a bit uh, inland now, so I think now we're going to the stretch of the uh, so-called rainforest. Sort of reminds me of um, the Black Spur, you know, similar sort of uh, um, plantation. Obviously this is closer to the sea, but nevertheless. So you got sea on one side and you got mountains on the other. How spectacular is that? That exhaust is so loud. No wonder he needs earplugs. <laughs> Shall I try to overtake this uh, when at my next opportunity?
look at the view. The 360 cam should be capturing this, but uh, I wanted the GoPro to capture it too. Spectacular man, spectacular. So, I managed to uh, take a short break, remove the liner from my jacket, adjusted the helmet, and uh, got back on the road so now I think it's about another around an hour from here to uh, the Trail for Fossils which I haven't seen in a long long time so it'll be interesting to see how that goes not sure if there's going to be much coastal road from here on, it might just be all in land, I can't quite remember. It's been an epic ride from this morning. We're finally at the 12 Apostles. So now we are basically at the kiosk. And uh, it's uh, 1.30. So we left at about uh, 6.30 this morning. So seven hours and now we are here, the 12 Apostles. So it's been a beautiful day as you can see, nice, bright and sunny, uh, hasn't been too windy and love the ride, really love the ride, so it's been pretty good. Now I'm just going to walk down the 12 Apostles and share with you what it looks like for those of you who hasn't been here. So let's go. There we go guys, 12 Apostles. So the eight then. Oh my god. Thank you. Yeah. Really cool, man. Let me see. So next to me here is my good mate Sarab. So do check out Sarab's channel. He's got a YouTube channel as well. It's called uh, Rodographer. Rodographer. So a radiographer on the road. Yes. So Sarab has uh, done quite a bit of uh, traveling in his time. Uh, he's been to the Himalayas twice, and he's got a couple of videos on his channel on his trip to the Himalayas so check those videos out and he's just recently purchased a S1000 S1000 XR so he's trying it out today how's the bike? it's pretty good pretty good what new model is it? Uh, it's a 2017 BMW so yeah How it's an adventure it? spot yeah I find it excellent bike on the twisties on the bends up the hills yeah. pretty go. good bike Sarab. So Sarab has got uh, S1000 XR, he's got a Royal Enfield mm. Classic 500. Classic 500. And he's also got a Yamaha VMAX, yeah. which uh, is also one heck of a bike. 1700cc bike. 1700, that's right. Yeah. Alright, All see right. you guys. Let's yep. head to Wanambul now. Cheers. Yep, let's go. We are done with the 12 Apostles. The boys are all getting ready, and we're going to head off to. Wonderful straight from here and then go into a ho hotel, check in, relax and then we'll probably go and look for some food. So all in all it's been a beautiful ride and 
the last leap now, one hour to take us to Wanabo. So stay tuned for that. Cheers. Alright. Ready for the last leap of the journey. An hour's ride and we should be uh, at Wanabu. So the great the 12 apostles never fails to actually um, impress every time I come here I find it quite impressive so it's uh, it's really nice the 12 apostles and we also just found out that you can't actually fly drones here so note to those of you who would like to fly a drone just remember that uh, the uh, 12 apostle lookout point is a uh, no drone zone, essentially. Okay, there are cops at the front. It's a nice guy letting us know there are cops. It's a hundred uh, kilometer an hour zone, so probably just best to take it easy. They're hiding. We are at Port Campbell. This is just about, literally about 15 minutes from the 12 Apostles. Nice little town. Apparently they have one of the best fish and chips here. I remember coming here and having fish and chips a long time ago. With uh, my boys, they were still young at that time. that view guys beautiful little coastal town how beautiful is that how beautiful is that wow the waters look a bit rough though nevertheless looks quite fun So I'm in this place called Grotto. Now I just parked the bikes. Sarab and um, Sarosh are already here. So I'm just joining them now. Apparently it's really worth the walk. And it's really beautiful. So let's go check out what this place has got to offer. But in the meanwhile, this is what the view is like at the moment. Walking through this place called Grotto. Mm. 
Now I possibly am doing something a bit silly. I couldn't be bothered to uh, unmount all the cameras from the motorcycle. So I just left it there. Um, I suppose I'm just taking the risk. Let's see uh, what happens when I get back if the stuff is still there or not. I think we should be fine. Uh, everyone here seems to be quite, uh, you know, they look quite alright, so possibly we'll be fine here. I don't intend to spend a very long time here anyway, so most likely 5 to 10 minutes, a couple of photos, and back to the bikes. So, stay tuned. Rush. Look at that. Oh. Cool was that definitely worth the walk for sure pretty awesome it takes a uh, centuries for that sort of formation to happen so it's pretty cool so that was us doing the uh, grotto and now we're gonna drive straight and head to Wanambu. So let's just enjoy the ride now. Okay. The wind is strong and uh, it's also blowing a lot of uh, moisture. Oh, strong, strong winds. Don't know what the name of this town is. It's a nice little town. Islands Coastal Park. Bumpy roads, 
double line so you can't overtake really. Lots of cyclists. I respect the cyclists because they must have a hell of a lot of stamina to be able to ride their bikes here. I mean the roads are pretty steep up and down. It's also quite windy and especially this guy here, this actually she's a girl. Guess what? We are in Wanambu. Yahoo! So now is uh, obviously time for an epic picture. And once Sarab is showing uh, Sarish the kind of shot he wants for his bike. So we're gonna try and replicate that for everyone. So we are finally in our destination. It's 3.45. Left at 6.30 this morning. So So roughly about eight hours of riding today which has been pretty awesome all right six minutes to the hotel so let's get rolling So we're going to be staying at the Comfort Head, Comfort Inn, Wanabu. So apparently it's about 4.4 kilometers from where I am now. So roughly five minutes to get there. So for those of you who haven't been to Wanabu, this is Wanabu, guys. It's a pretty nice town, wonderful, I quite like it. I've been here uh, three times so far. This is the fourth. So, love it, love this town. Here we are in our hotel, Comfort Inn. Good morning. So it's day two now of our trip to Wanabu. So we slept like a log last night. It was really really fun. Um, we after we got to the hotel, we sort of uh, took a bit of a rest, and then we um, headed up for some dinner. We had some Thai food, and then we went to the local Irish pub in. Uh, played a bit of pool so that was really really nice and then we sort of did a close to a four kilometer walk at night as well so it was pretty good in search of ice cream <laughs> we walked four kilometers in search of ice cream um, anyway thank you guys for following me for the trip yesterday I hope you like the vlog and you like the footage that was uh, included so if you do find the video um, helpful and interesting please give me a big thumbs up do like do share do subscribe and i'll see you on the next one cheers